Welcome to another installation of Zaloni Zips. Today the topic is data siloed in the enterprise. I'm Adam Diaz, the Director of Field Engineering here at Zaloni. Let's get started. Data silos have been a long-running issue for the enterprise. There are technological, business, and even human reasons for their development. An enterprise started out many years ago with relational database systems that took data from its raw form, moved it through a process of ETL, and store that data in data warehouses. This simple act left data neatly organized, but ultimately difficult to use when use cases called for cross-warehouse questioning. These multiple data warehouses, in this case, were ultimately data silos. This gave way to the obvious answer, a single golden database, the Enterprise Data Warehouse, essentially a data lake's first version. As a relational store, it still required structure, but logically it was the first attempt to place data in a single location to enable novel use cases. Along comes Hadoop and a host of data challenges. Streaming data, unstructured data, and a need for scale at a cost that traditional relational systems couldn't do affordably. The Hadoop-based data lake, while solving the technology and financial challenges of this ever-growing EDW, ultimately gave rise to more than one Hadoop system inside an enterprise. Different departments, different use cases, different budgets, timelines and goals all conspired to again drive enterprise-wide data into silos. Alternate distributions of Hadoop, all on highly divergent versions, in different geographies and different SLAs for their use cases, need to be managed if they are to be useful to the enterprise. Having an overlay technology like Bedrock and Mica can help break down barriers between these systems via its metadata-driven approach. Data in each system can be described via one metadata repository, giving users a view of data across multiple systems. This is not a physical connection, but a logical one. Under Bedrock, these multiple siloed clusters are logically organized into a single logical view exposed by MICA. The ultimate goal here being a single governed data lake. Many times this concept of a logical data lake includes many types of technologies, including RDBMS, NoSQL, and Hadoop. Data in all these systems can function to answer questions as a logical entity that neither could do alone. In fact, rather than replace the EDW, Hadoop-based data lakes have augmented enterprise architectures as yet another location for data persistence. EDWs and relational stores are still used for their strengths like transactional operations. The concept of a data lake is still a powerful one, placing data, all data, structured, unstructured, and streaming data into a single system not only allows one to ask questions not thought of before, but also at a cost and speed more affordable than traditional relational systems. There will always be a danger of data siloing due to the many factors that drive business today.